Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. I'm Average Joe, and it's day five of Jenny Week. Now, if you haven't been following along this week, on a Sunday, I posted a vlog that talked about a theme for this week, and that theme is basically me reviewing beers from the Genesee Brewing Company out of Rochester, New York. And since today is Friday, and it's the end of the work week for most, I thought the beer that I would be reviewing from them would be one that, you know, nice after work beer or something to relax, uh, easy going. And it is their Ruby Red Kolsch. So, as you can see on the can, they say it's a special edition, which, after reviewing the Bach beer on Wednesday, just means that it's basically a seasonal. This is another spring seasonal from them. I think this is the first time they have ever released this beer. And yeah, I'm quite pumped to get into it. Ruby Red Kolsch, you know, what I was thinking is Ruby Red Grapefruit into a Kolsch. And sure enough here on the can, it says Kolsch style blonde ale with natural pink and red grapefruit flavors. That worries me a little bit. I would have preferred if it just said Kolsch style blonde ale with grapefruit added or with grapefruit. When they start throwing the natural word around, is it really natural? Hopefully it is in this case. On their website, they do say it's basically more or less brewed with Ruby Red Grapefruit. So let's hope that's the case. On the can here, the canning date is, it's a code. I'm not gonna decipher. This is a spring seasonal, showed up a couple weeks ago, so it's fresh. It's a Kolsch. It doesn't need to be three days old because it's an IPA and it's you know quadruple dry hop and blah, blah, blah. It's a Kolsch, it has grapefruit in it, should be fine. So let's crack it open, see what we got going on here because I wanna give this a shot. This is actually one that I've been looking forward to uh, getting into, look at, looking forward to uh, this week on the channel because it just sounds interesting. It sounds like a perfect spring and summer beer. So hopefully that is the case. Let's give it a pour here, see what we got going on. So Kolsch's for me are actually a style uh, that I enjoy quite a bit, to be honest with you. Um, when it comes to something that's light and refreshing, you know, a lot of people like adjunct lagers or pilsners. For me, I go with Kolsch's. They kind of have the same characteristics or very similar, but for me, I just, I just enjoy it a bit more. So anyway, this pours out a, yeah, like a light pale golden straw color. Yeah, light pale golden straw color plays the role of a Kolsch. As you guys can see up front here, it just looks like a little bit darker on camera, but for the most part, you know, it looks like a Kolsch. Now, the head is about a finger, finger and a half of a off-white, very creamy looking head, actually. This looks very inviting. So I'm going to get right into the aroma because whatever. It has carbonation, plays the role of Kolsch. You guys have had Kolsch's, maybe you haven't, but yeah, looks like it. Looks like your typical uh, beer in layman's terms. Looks like your typical beer. That's what it looks like in layman's terms. Let's get into the aroma. There is a shit ton of ruby red grapefruit in this one. Holy crap. Yeah, this, so I did, um, I did review, did a live review uh, last Saturday of um, Elvis Juice from BrewDog with two of good friends of mine here on YouTube, two fellow beer tubers, uh, Craig from Kent Beer Reviews and Peter at uh, the Clueless Drinker. And this has a very similar notes to that beer because that is an IPA brewed with grapefruit. I think it's grapefruit peel, but this one just has all the grapefruit. Yeah, the juice, it also has this like slight tartness to it, uh, which Elvis juice didn't have. I don't know why I'm comparing the two. It's an IPA with grapefruit to a Kolsch, but I'm just saying that grapefruit character is very similar. This one though, believe it or not, has a more refreshing aroma to it and a more authentic aroma. Even though the whole natural thing on the can scared me and the aroma it smells quite good. Underneath that, there's this nice bready malt character but not too much going on. Maybe even a couple other citrus notes, like slight lemon. Yeah, the grapefruit's nice. It smells like a tart, uh, not a, not a, like a, when I say tart, great, tart grapefruit, I'm not saying it is like mouth puckering or anything, but just has a slight tartness, like you're digging into a ruby red grapefruit, which is sweeter than your regular white grapefruits or a pink grapefruit. It just has a bit more sweetness to it, but still has a slight tartar, uh, slight bitter character to it. This is not complex. It's basically grapefruit juice, a little bit of uh, bready, sweeter uh, malt, and that's it. There's not a whole lot going on. I'm going to get into this one, so cheers. I'm 
can drink eight billion cans of this. And I might just drink all of it right now. Um, I don't like to say, holy crap, this beer is super drinkable. But it is. This is a great spring slash summer seasonal. First off, has a nice Kolsch uh, base to it. Like I said, sweeter, breadier malts. Maybe even like a little crackery thing going on. But that the grapefruit is the star. Now in the aroma, it smelled a bit sweeter, more juicy vibes. In the taste, it's almost translating as more of a white grapefruit. It has the bitterness that a white grapefruit would have. I mean, it has a little bit of the grapefruit peel in there. Um, it's not sweet, but it has the grapefruit uh, flavor, which is nice, in all honesty. 4.5% alcohol by volume and 8 IBUs. It's not really bitter, even though you get the grapefruit bitterness, there is enough of the malt sweetness to kind of offset it. It does finish quite dry though. It's very drying, which makes me go back for more, which I'm gonna do again. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pour the rest in here because I think this is gonna go down quite nicely. Um, there's not a whole lot to really say about this beer. Like, it's good. It's actually quite tasty, but complex it is not. And it doesn't need to be complex to be a good beer. But this would be a very nice like poolside beer. Uh, if you go camping or if you go to the beach, you could bring a 12 pack of this. I believe I saw it in 12 packs. It might be in six packs too. You could crush it, have a great time. But yeah, basically more or less very easy drinking beer. Bodies like upper side or upper upper light body. It's just approaching medium, like the lower side of medium body. It's appropriate for a 4.5% Kolsch. Uh, mouthfeel, it's crisp, it's clean, it has a slight softness to it, so while it is crisp, clean, and super refreshing, it does have uh, a little bit less carbonation than a typical Kolsch would have, at least for me. I mean, it's carbonated, but it's not overly so. And then, sweet, bready malt mixed in with grapefruit character, and more of a slightly bittering, slightly tart, uh, grapefruit like i said i'm getting more of like a white grapefruit it doesn't have the sweetness that a ruby red does but for me this beer is is quite tasty it's nothing amazing i mean at the end of the day it's just a colch with a ruby red grapefruit so it's you know not going to get a crazy score for me but for score i'm going to give this a 3.75 out of 5 it's tasty it's good and you know i said this in the bach beer review as well I might actually buy a couple more cans or maybe like a six pack or a 12 pack and throw it in my fridge. And if there's barbecues or, you know, hanging out at the pool, whatever, bring a couple cans of this 4.5%, you're not going to get ripped. And yeah, so another, I don't want to say winner for Jenny, but as far as their seasonals in the springtime go, this is a nice contrast to the Bach beer and at the same time, very appropriate for the season. So yeah, that was the Genesee Brewing Company Ruby Red Colch. This ends the so-called work week for most uh, when it comes to Jenny week. And tomorrow we'll be back with the final cream ale in the uh, cream ale sampler pack, which is the Imperial cream ale, which I'm quite interested to get into. Um, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all the stuff that I always say because I have a tendency to repeat myself. A lot of people do that beer too, but whatever. Um, let me know if you've had this beer before. Uh, let me know if you have had any kind of colches with ruby red grapefruit. Does this sound inviting to you? So on and so forth. Throw some comments in the comment section. I always reply and I always will. Well, I think I will. But anyway, yeah, that does it for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>